Good evening, gorgeous people. I look flushed again. How are we all? It is another Monday evening. It's been another manic Monday. It is 10 to 9 and naturally I still have... Oh, you're a bit steamy. I still have... 150 grams of carbs to eat. So I have made 150 grams of spaghetti, which accounts for about 125 grams of carbs. And then I've also just made a... I've also just made a wrap into like, do it in the air fryer for like five minutes. Ah, that's hot. And they come out like chips that I can dip in this hummus. I think I've mentioned this hummus before, but I love it so much. It's the Sabra red, red pepper and garlic one. So I'm going to have that while my pasta is cooking. And I didn't really film much today. I had clients. I got some training done in the morning. And then I had my booty camp. But I discovered, so I have... I think it's like four different batteries for this camera and all four of them including the one including the one that's on you right now is they're all run out and you're down to like why I put like eyeliner on for the first time yesterday and forever and I remember why I don't wear it because I can't ever get it off and I look like a panda must be really steamy in here <laughs> Um, but I came home to some really lovely things that I'll be honest I forgot I'd ordered but because it is the year of the dragon I was reading up on which is my birth year so 1988 was the year of the dragon um, and it says get re ready for an extraordinary year in 2024 the stars align in your favour with the majestic influence of Jupiter gracing your sign brace yourself for an exhilarating journey filled with thrilling changes and abundant opportunities this year, as the dragon returns and meets Jupiter in your natal chart, becomes a transformative time, right with potential. Nurture a positive mindset and believe in yourself. For these qualities have the power to reshape your life for the better and to invite good fortune. Don't forget to carry a talisman depicting the mythical phoenix. Embrace the magic that awaits. So, of course, I ran with that. I've got, like, little feng shui phoenixes ordered. I have ordered, I didn't know Phoenix Crystal was a thing, but this is what this is. <laughs> and its benefits, bear with, are, and this also ties in nicely with a lot of the stuff that I've been like going through, talking to my counsellor about, the Reiki session. Um, it says, Phoenix Stone, often called the Compassion Crystal, is a powerful combination of Malachite crystals, blah, blah, a combination of crystals basically. <laughs> And contains all the wonderful properties of each individual crystal. A powerful, strong... I think we've missed a word. A powerful, strong, mostly crystal to promote self-realisation and acceptance and to open the heart to love and emotional healing. It releases fear and depression and brings forward creativity, self-expression and personal power. So I'm going to put that on my selenite overnight to charge. And then I think I'll keep that in the living room. And then I ordered this beautiful little necklace. So I got the crystal from Malvern Crystals and they sent this like, lovely thing of how you can like use different crystals. And I got the necklace from Greenside Gifts. need to beat myself up. 
Even though I feel the need to beat myself up. I choose to love and accept myself anyway. I choose to love and accept myself anyway. Funny. There's me running about thinking I was running late. And there's my mother. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she, par she parked away over there. I thought she was going to pull up beside me. Hey, it is sometime later. Well, not actually that much later. What time is it? Alexa, what time is it? Good afternoon, Melanie. It's 12.20 p.m. 12.20 p.m. So, 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 so. I had lovely breakfast with mum, then I went to Espresso Cart to have an exciting meeting there. I had a coffee while I was there, but I also picked up another one. If anyone is wondering, that's my order. And these are coffee grounds, which I need to dehydrate. So I need to put that on my task list. I also need to send out this. Someone has ordered some White Rabbit skincare. We do a decadent box. So basically it's a huge big gift box. All wrapped up with lush ribbon. Um, with tons of products in it. But I need to book courier for that. And Tuesdays are my making days. So I'm going to make... Wait a minute. I can't see. I've probably got a nice shot up my nose there. <laughs> I am going to make products. Also need to get steps in. Also, also need to another little delivery. So I'd ordered after my Reiki session, and she'd spoken about how smoky quartz was my stone. I got a little smoky quartz healing crystal bracelet, which I'm going to sage and then put in my little selenite what is this bowl overnight so she gave me I need to ask her actually what um what stone that is but she also gave me this um dragon healing crystal necklace but the first what's oh, an angel number 222 look at my baby <laughs> my First port of call before I do anything else is to have something to eat because I am starving today. So apparently Jack Sparrow as per usual. Stop being so naughty. Hi, this is a reminder to you and to future me watching this back to always stand up for yourself and don't take any from anyone. My day was going really well and then I've just, someone that I thought was a friend and I respected quite a bit has just kind of I've lost her respect for them right now um, and I'm fed up of doubting my self-worth, I'm fed up of doubting whether I am doing the right thing and I'm fed up of putting everyone else first, it's time for that to change. So, And also because of the stress of today, I have not only, well, I picked all my Sheila off anyway, well, not picked it off, but started picking at it, I have bitten my nails to buggery. So, they're actually sore. Sometimes that happens, like when I'm feeling stressy, I end up like biting before I even realise what I'm doing it, and then before I know it, I've bitten them all and they're sore. And I don't want to do that anymore. No more Miss Nice Mail, is all I will say. <laughs> K. 
Good morning. It is Saturday. I have not packed up the camera since what day was that? Thursday. Um but I had the best best night's sleep last night and I just wanted to come in on and chat to you. So the plan for today is to go and get my nails done. Which I can't remember if I mentioned last time I picked up the camera but I have chewed them to bits. I don't know why you look so steamy. Wait a minute, I'm not gonna wipe you off. Better? <laughs> um I'll keep burning my pancakes. I decided I, I've been thinking about pancakes since last night. So that is what I'm having. Sorry. I forgot I had to um, sat you down. I'm now debating if I've got enough time to go and do my ice bath. Because it's ten to nine. I didn't know how long that was going to make me to... No. How long it was going to take me to make my pancakes. But I've made them now. One, one, five. Say hi to the vlog. Hi. <laughs> ah. So who are these from? No idea. No idea. <laughs> 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 Look at the colour difference between us. <laughs> right, this is the before. <laughs> Try and hold this up. Seconds I'll give you. You got it there? Mm-hmm. It just smells for you, for you. Oh, what's it called? A vlog? Mm-hmm. A so vlog. That, it's got a mic on it. It does, but I can take the sound out of it if you want. Uh, I don't know what I've been talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Do you want me to get up and sit somewhere else? Uh, yeah, get up. Oh. So I have decided, whilst I am in Irvine, that I want to have a look in Primark. So let's go and see what they have. I want to have a look at their activewear stuff. Hello, for me. Six to eight forty. Is that? Is it card or cash? A card, please. That's 
ready for you. Sure. <laughs> I need to get this. Apologies to editing me that will have to probably cut out God knows how much <laughs> footage of the floor. Randomness. What can I say? I'm not a, I'm not a very good uh, come shop with me vlogger. Yet, yet. So it's now. Oh, it's two twenty two. Angel number. Write it down. So I'm debating. I'm kind of hungry, but I still need to go to Tesco and Home Bargains. And then I remembered that I'm paying for mum and dad's Netflix, but I don't know what they keep doing, but they keep, like, I, I keep going round and setting it up for them. And then I don't know what they press or what they do, but it keeps going off. And I'm like, I'm paying £15 a month for this, so I need to get it to work. I need to go and do that first. I can't decide if I want... No, I need to go and do that, but I can't decide if I want to do that first or if I want to go to Tesco and that, but then I'm hungry. I actually might get a Burger King, you know. I could quite go some nuggets. Oh, and I don't know if I said, but I didn't do my ice bath this morning. I didn't have time. <laughs> but... I ended up getting, I couldn't get Mike and not get Sully. <laughs> oh dear God. But I had a six pound, turns out I had a six pound as the voucher. Right. Au revoir. I came for a Burger King. But I feel it was a bad choice because not only do they not have any vegan nuggets, I've literally been waiting for 20 minutes for a burger. I don't even know what I've ordered. I was like, just give me whatever vegan option you've got. <laughs> and now I'm starting to worry that they've forgotten about me because they came out and gave, gave like three other people their orders. snacks when I was in that stuff. I'm now walking as fast as I can without running because I don't do running up the street to get a Costa to take <laughs> to take on the, um, the trip around Tesco because it makes it a lot more bearable. I am finally home. It is literally dark outside. We are not enough dark. Because it's six o'clock. I have been out since half past nine this morning. <laughs> I, after I finally got my Burger King, I literally had to go in and they'd forgotten about me. And it wasn't even that nice. I went round to mum and dad's to sort their Netflix. Um. Fingers crossed I've got it sorted now. I think what I was trying to do was I was trying to add them onto a household and household is literally like one house. So like different devices in one house, but I think I've got it sorted now. Then I parked at Tesco, walked into town to get a cost started <laughs> to take round Tesco. I don't know what it is about the food shop that I find so... Ugh. Um, but a 10 out of 10 recommend using the little hand scanner thing because that makes it a lot better and I went, tripped and fell into W. H. Smith's not the work so W. H. Smith's and I got a couple of books and went to Home Bargains because I, I like to get my like energy drinks in there and then Tesco and now I'm home and I'm going to have to do I know, like, usually I don't like being on more than one trip from the car, but I've got bags in the front, bags in the back. <sighs> Your girl's tired. But hopefully I have done my 10,000 steps. Let's see. I've not only done 8,000, I've, I've been, like, walking about everywhere today. 8,257. Maybe it's just as well I'm doing more trips from the car. Jack Sparrow has been given a timeout for being a pest. 
would not give me peace. I'm trying to do the washing up and unpack the shopping for Mela. These are my little Phoenix Feng Shui symbols that I got. I've been trying to Google the best place to put them in the house and it involves southwest corners and shit and I can't get the compass to work. So it also says if you place it by your front door, because it's an entrance into your home, it brings good luck. So I am going to put them on here. And then I've also got um, black obsidian up there because it helps keep out negative vibes so keep out negativity but bring in good luck <laughs> after debating about it for the longest time decided to get an instax Luckily I checked though, because it doesn't come with film. Thank you. Got an album. Hello gorgeous people. Well, hello and cheerio. Um, I have had a relatively chilled day. Um, I was just packaging up some skincare products there. <laughs> I'm watching Harry. Oh my God, is he okay? What happened? Hang on, hang on. Uh -huh. um, uh, but guess what? I've left my food prep until now. It's like 20 past 9, so I'm going to go and do that. So I've just come on to close this one off and I will speak to you. <laughs> I'll speak to you tomorrow. <laughs>